Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the future of crypto programming. And of course, this is directly tied into cryptocurrencies in general. So if you look back at my uh, videos, you'll see that when Bitcoin was near its all time high, I was advising people to uh, probably a better idea to get out of cryptocurrency at that point in time, because uh, when you see a big parabolic move like that, there's usually a parabolic crash that comes afterwards. And uh, I took some heat for that, but you can look at the history now. So when it was at 18,000 or whatever it was, 17 or 18,000 dollars a coin, I was advising people to get out. I also believe that crypto programming has had its bubble phase already. It is out there, there's no question, and the technology, it's a type of database, by the way, all crypto is just a type of database. And uh, it's going to be used in certain niche application. But I think you, you don't hear much about it these days. The hype has kind of worn off. And you're left with some pockets of use. There's no question about it. But uh, the true believers are really what's pushing this thing. At the end of the day, uh, it makes me wonder about how viable the crypto uh, programming world uh, in terms of jobs, how often people are going to be needed in that space. It's hard to say. I'm not, uh, I don't have a crystal ball, but my guess it's got, but it is going to further fall into niche, meaning less and less crypto jobs uh, going forward. Again, I have not done any research. This is just based on nerd reasoning. So uh, case in point, let me show you this article here. So I was looking through the interwebs and I came across this article in Forbes. Forbes is uh, one of the more credible uh, magazines out there. Google al algorithm update bid, did Google just censor Bitcoin? So essentially, I'm not going to read the whole article. I'll put a link under this video. At the end of the day, a bunch of uh, Bitcoin people, advocates, are um, saying that Google is now slowly shadow banning their content, their uh, video content on um, on cryptocurrency. And uh, shadow banning is just basically having videos not show up in search. That's all. And uh, apparently the big search engine, excuse me, the big um, social media networks will shadow ban content that they don't like. So it seems to seems, according to this article and the people who uh, who are being quoted here, that YouTube is indeed purging and striking down any Bitcoin related videos. And so I wondered why would they do that for a cryptocurrency? And to me, I think if they are doing it, and I wouldn't put it past them, but if they are doing it, it's probably because if you look at a lot of these Bitcoin websites or YouTube uh, channels is a lot of uh, politics kind of woven in under there and uh, rightly or wrongly. And it's uh, it's it, it, it's the same arguments that I saw during the last financial crisis during 2008, 9, 10, where the gold and silver people were making pretty much the exact same arguments that the crypto people are now making as to why you'd want to buy gold and silver. That being said, gold is uh, doing very well. Silver is really not doing well at all. Um, you look at the, the cryptocurrency space, you see a similar thing where Bitcoin, although it's down like, what, 50% from its high, it's still doing a lot better than so many other cryptos out there, just about all of them. And uh, gold and, and, crypt and Bitcoin are kind of similar in the sense that they're both uh, the gold standard in their respective uh, silos. So with, with regards to um, uh, precious metals, gold is kind of the de facto V metal. And when it comes to cryptocurrency, it's Bitcoin. Um, and typically in a particular market, the strongest players will always do best in a weak market. So... Of course, when the cryptocurrency uh, complex uh, crashed, uh, Bitcoin was still the strongest by far. When the precious metals crashed, uh, gold is still the strongest by far, and it has reco recovered quite a bit, but apparently silver has not. Um, 
whenever you see a market where there's a lot of uh, emotion and psychology and religion involved, well, you could argue you could argue that there's a lot of that in any market. But when it becomes very emotional, very um, political, whether or not somebody uh, believes in a particular tech or a particular uh, asset class, like Bitcoin or gold or oil or whatnot, you have to take a step back from that because you know when that kind of stuff starts creeping into the equation, you know that uh, rational thinking is being suppressed by the lizard brain, by the emotional self. So how does this relate back to jobs, programming jobs in crypto? I think that programming jobs in crypto, again, niche jobs, limited. Yes, crypto technology in some form or any, or the other will be used, uh, but I think it's going to be just niche. -y. So this video is not about bashing or supporting crypto or gold or whatever. No, this is about the job opportunities presented in that space. That being said, there's still a lot of money in crypto that's floating around and there's people doing some really cool stuff with it. Uh, but I think, again, it's niche. -y. So there you go, a little short little video. Uh, I'm always here to try to give you my input as a developer who's been in the game since the 1990s. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.